We have some tangible signs from the state of Oregon today uh, that they are trying to boost now this molasses like vaccine rollout and not a minute too soon. I know a lot of people are waiting for some good news, a good news on that front. And I got a little bit today on a personal note. My dad got his vaccine today. He's a teacher. He's over 50. Uh, he lives in West Virginia, and that's kind of where their rollout situation is right now. It is a big relief for our family. Uh, one grandparent now with the vaccine, three more to go. But uh, there's a little story I kind of want to tell you because the first person I thought of after he called me this morning was actually a woman who I've never formally met. See, I, I got this call in my office a couple of weeks ago and I talked to this woman for like 45 minutes. I was answering some of her questions about the vaccine and when we think she might be able to get it. See, this woman is dying. She has a terminal pulmonary issue. And just before COVID took over our lives, she was told that she had about 18 months left in hers. And she has spent this last year, like everyone else, in lockdown, you know, not with her loved ones, not at her favorite restaurant, not, not crossing off her bucket list. She now has six months left. And I probably don't need to tell you that those months get less and less pleasant as they go on. She is the reason why we press our leaders, one of the reasons. That's why we have questions when we hear that young people who work for these hospitals from home are getting the vaccine before people like her. Or why we can't believe that doses actually had to be thrown away in this state. Or that only 13 people got shots on Christmas Day. And if she's watching tonight, we won't stop, okay? We won't let up. We're with you. And keep that in mind as we report that Oregon is still near the bottom when it comes to states actually getting shots into people's arms. Today, during a media briefing, Governor Brown said that the National Guard will join the effort now to help speed things up here, which I know we've been getting a lot of emails, people asking, why aren't they doing this? Well, they are. A spokesperson for the military told us that they should be set up at the state fairgrounds in Salem no later than Tuesday. The governor's goal is to vaccinate, with this help, 250 people per hour, which is 6,000 people in 24 hours. And let's hope so, because yesterday they only gave out 5,706 shots in the whole day. Is that text large enough? That's literally as big as we could make it. And remember, the governor told the OHA that soon they'll need to get 12,000 shots done in a single day. And while we hear about vaccines expiring on shelves before ever making their way into people's arms, today OHA Director Pat Allen said of the roughly 250,000 doses that Oregon has received, we've used about 73,000 of them. We want to get healthcare workers, first responders, people living in congregate settings and others in that priority group vaccinated so we can move to uh, education workers, critical workers, vulnerable populations and the general public as fast as our supplies allow. Getting more vaccines in the hands of providers who are ready and able to vaccinate large numbers of people is a vital part of our strategy. The fact that Oregon is sticking so strongly to only giving shots to people in that initial 1A group actually kind of goes against the advice of the U.S. Surgeon General. See, the Surgeon General is saying that those groupings, right, are really just guidelines and states should focus on just getting as many shots into as many arms as possible, especially when you consider this reporting from the Oregonian. See, they found out that OHSU lost 15 Pfizer vaccine doses after a vial broke and two were mixed the wrong way. And Legacy Health, of course, wasted those 27 doses when they couldn't find enough health care workers to actually take them and they expired. And I'm sure with some different planning, they would have had no problem finding 27 arms to inject with those vaccines. But now they can't.